Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator, whoa, 19, I better stay on this bridge. We are headed to field 66, which is right here, well this is going to be a contract, but of course, 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 right, I hope everybody's doing alright, and I don't have my phone handy. My squeaking cheer. I just want to say I hope y'all doing okay. And today is Monday, July the 12th. I don't know if I'll have this out on Monday. It might be Wednesday. Uh, but anyway, uh, been gone for about a month. And I told y'all when I come back, we'll have another series going. And that's going to start real soon, folks. That's going to start real soon. Oh, look at that. Try to ease up for me. All right, get that folded up. We're going to get the combine unfolded. And uh, we're going to get started on this contract here. Now we do, actually I need to get the other combine started first. I just want to show you something here. Here's my beacons on. I don't know if it's, uh... no, it's not reflecting off the header, but that that's, bright it should be coming inside like that so yeah that's why I just got my emergency flashes on as you can see blinking over there and and on the side there we'll zoom in the back here so y'all can see them they're blinking there two on the corner of the combine and two on the the wing guards there whatever you want to call them but this is the x9 1100 that came out by Sid Modden and uh, these are just the uh, McDonald flex headers, which has the belts. I like them because you can pull them. Yeah, let me back up a little bit more. I don't want to hit the tree there. We're going to go ahead and get a... Oh, well, let's just say we're going to get Dan started on this. And Oh, God, we need to clean that. That's just what little bit he cut here. But we are on field 66 and I already got course play loaded for it as you can see here. Uh, we're going to start at the first waypoint. Um, don't know where it's going to be at in here. There we go. I hit the middle mouse button and it wouldn't work it so I hit the right mouse button and it started working as you can see here. Uh, this one's going to be the left side so I got one left on the offset there. And we're going to drive a course at the first waypoint and I hope it works. Okay, I started to say. And we're cutting that 12 mile an hour. Whew. And we're leaving straw down. Uh, we're going to be collecting straw. Alright, let's get in here. Get this one all set up. I'm going to turn beacons off. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold and turn on. Get some of this right here up. So when we start our course here. Alright, right click on the mouse button. We're going to hit work mode. Uh, we're going to go into the world timber here. We're going to... Uh, oh, where is it? 66, right here. Needs to be unloaded already. Oh Lord. Um, let's see here. We got field 66, so we'll go back to here. We're going to go here, and this is one right offset, so that will be right. 
Um, how far up is? Oh, he's all way over there. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one started. Uh, we're gonna say first waypoint, drive course. There we go. I'm gonna hop out real quick. I'm go over here to our buggy. And when we get here, you see I see I got the beacons on. Shut them off. They're okay in here. But that beeping you're hearing, as you can see on the console over there, you can see the blinking, blinking right there. But let's let's get this guy moving. We got one that's full already. Don't want to cut too hard to get the track off. All right, uh, we're going to do this contract, but folks, we have some bad news. Good news, but bad news. We are going to be <sighs> selling our farm. Yeah, I got an offer, which I'm not going to... Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's dumping over in them. How can he dump? There we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Y'all wasn't supposed to see that. Be right back, folks. All right. Now, this is driving me bonkers right here. I got way too close. I almost took my light out. Now, this guy ain't quite half full yet, so I don't know. Of course, this the... Let him unload, get over here, see what's going on with this one. We got a stop driver for a second. Start the motor. Uh, so we can't unload till we get to the back. Now I'm going to have to change this from first waypoint to nearest waypoint. And this, oh, I hate it when you can't turn. This here is a, uh, what is that, S690? Yeah, S690, 2015 version. All right, we are empty. We're going to start up. We're going to drive a little ways. Is that? Yeah, they're going around this ditch here, so I'm going to put back on course. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be uh, selling this farm, so this is probably the last time we'll use these combines. Um, talking to the, the new owner, oh, well, not quite, but he will be a new owner. And, um, yeah, I went ahead and took the offer, folks, so... The amount of money we're going to be getting is quite unsure of but I told him you know we got quite a bit here so he's like well let me see what we got and I showed or was telling him what we got and he wants to see what we got oh can we catch up because you're almost full again it'd be nice to unload you right here Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. I got this guy in his way. What is he doing? Okay.
Now we're going to stop driver. We're going to let the other guy get in the head. I just, I, I'm not going to be able to keep up with both of them. And we are missing some spots too. But anyway, let me uh, get this going, folks. I don't want it to be too long. We're just going to do the contract here, get the grain off of it. So I'm going to do some of that and then uh, bring you back when we're done. I'm also going to do some things around the shop and uh, before I show y'all. So I'll bring you back here. Be a second for y'all, but of course for me it might be 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30. So be right back. I just want to bring you back real quick at the seed mat, my uh, seed cleaner, whatever it's called, uh, seed cleaner. Uh, got a little bit of chemical left there, and we got 16,342 left in the uh, hopper there, I guess. And uh, of course we got all these chemicals here. And um, we got some crops over here, I think. And we got some soybeans, we got some wheat. We'll probably be selling them. Of course, our combines ready to need to be unloaded. We didn't have another truck over. So uh, we're going to dump these seeds over there and that silo in the far back. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of stuff s still to pick up from this farm. This farm's almost done. That shed's empty. It's got a couple of trailers, and then when we got this stuff down here, there's our other auger wagon. That's what I really need. I know I'm already dumping, but you can see how much there was. My name's at seeds over almost like 80,000, I think it was 70, somewhere in there. All right, he uh, this combine's made it the second round. Uh, well, I guess I have to stop driver and then uh, let me get this off. Actually, I need to, I'm just going to delete that out of this and this in here is going to go up and down. There we go, get started. Uh, no, I don't want AI. Oh man, always something's got to kill the time there, you know, it's already getting kind of late. Guys had to have the supper and stuff, and we're just gonna have to run across. We got the eight RX up here. We're just gonna cut across this ditch here. Ain't very deep. Now I'm thinking about taking one of these tractors with me to the new farm, and um, go from there. Uh, the new farm is going to be American Farming, American Farming Life, or something like that. And it's going to be a little bit better in map. It won't be as big as this one. This guy needs unloaded, so let's go ahead and unload him. I think this one can hold it. I know it looks full, but it's not quite full. Get off here and see how full this thing is. Uh, well, that's not right. 176,194 liters capacity. Yeah, I kind of made that a modded, a modded uh, wagon there. See how much is down here. Uh, Showing 70. So I don't know which one's right. 
current segment. Maybe it's 70,000 bushels. I have no idea. Let me, let me uh, let me get that combine on this side so I'm going to its way. Then we're going to go unload this. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute. Alright, because this right here will probably fill this truck here. Ooh, got to watch for the power lines. I almost got them. There's a lot of stuff in nature or in farming or anything in general that you got to watch for. Uh, all kind of safety issues and stuff you run upon. Just going to reach over. I want to get it too low. There we go. That's what I like about this one. That's about about right there. Max all the way out. Tell you what, this is a lot of grain here. It's going down pretty well. Oh, that's all back tonight, actually. Yeah. My radio on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing pretty good here. I don't know how much this truck holds. It probably holds just about as much. combine setting and being blocked so uh, probably that over there he's just going to have to wait uh, Christy had to go home and get supper uh, Dan and Colin Julian is on the uh, combines uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors uh, Christy Nicola from her channel YouTube channel both of them got YouTube channels Colin Julian's got a YouTube channel. They're all down below in the description, folks. So go check them out. Yeah, check them out. Um, I also have a uh, can crusher and a light down below in the description for the D5600 Nikon. There we go. It's folding back up. I'd like to be setting still when I fold because one you can look make sure ain't no power lines two you don't have to worry about hitting anything and three it's just it's part of safety folks speaking of safety get my beacons back on strobes on while I'm out in the road and plus it's getting late so where in the world did that combine go Oh, it's on up here. I see it now. Like these power lines. They're covered here somewhere. I hate to keep crossing ditches, but hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and cross this ditch here. Ah, oh, look at there. Look at there, the crossing with no problem with all these tracks on. Now with course play, I am going to have to come back and clean up the edges. But with this in here, I'm fixing to... Uh, I'm going to stop about right here. I'm going to get out and change the course play to uh, a regular worker. And uh, go from there. So, stop driver we're going to uh, start the motor shut all that off we're going to back up a little bit so it'll be unloading we're going to go ahead and turn ai off because i know it's going to be on yep so that's off that way we can just hire a regular worker and voila um looks like it's going to be uh, a late night so I will bring y'all back in the morning. Uh, I hate to do this to y'all. 
Well, let's let's just check out real quick some of the stuff I I got here. Um, starting here, we have the uh, oh pole, uh, the 4440. We got the uh, 6195M. We should have two of them somewhere. We got the 8R410 with the tanks, and uh, this one is a, another one 8R410. This one is a Semar. And we got our two six row cotton pickers and uh, 6195M. That's the second one. The, co the cotton pickers are CP690. Uh, this is a uh, custom mod. mod. Uh, it's not part of DLC. DLC is just like that, but it don't have tracks. Uh, 4940. 4940 number two. These should be by custom modding. Um, and then our other uh, this uh, 9620 RX. Uh, the other one's out on the grain cart. Uh, we got a lot of other stuff. Let's kind of give y'all a run around here. Got a gooseneck, gooseneck, uh, tipper gooseneck by 82, 82's logistics. Uh, YouTube and of course these are for our, uh, cows uh, tipper sh uh, straw bale shredder or fertilized rig that would knife it into the ground or cedar or fertilize uh, our big planters we had I don't even know how many rows these are let's see one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two sixteen row three point hitch planters. Uh, a disc here. And uh, our fill. Uh, well, actually, these was plows. Cultivators on the back. And our. Got some straw bales. We still got trucks that's got. Uh, grass that's been dried into hay uh, he hasn't come out and seen none of this yet so we've just been trying to get our grass dry down and we'll probably sell it I'm not for sure um, we've got a tether in here that we got to get on the showroom and you know we're still feeding the cows some but he's going to take the cows and all. And here's our, I think, our newest ADAR. I just got the tank on the back of it to take it over there. But uh, let's see, we have 4.1 hours on this ADAR-X. And I'm thinking we're going to take it to American Farming Life and uh, start us a farm over there with it. Also, we have our guy here. We've been uh, trying to get some grass off of this field here. Uh, I had a, a line here. I just uh, trying to be getting all this done here and everything. It's just a lot of works and a, and a making right here on Madison Creek folks uh, I don't want to just get too much longer so I'm going to do some stuff off screen uh, when we come back we'll probably have our stuff in a row hopefully um, so I got to unload on that side only thing about this uh, the header is unreal you know, they usually don't make them that big. And that's why I got this modded to a lot of grass. And, yeah, so, uh, might not be worried about the grass too much more. Because all of our stuff is about full. And if this guy gives us a quote, uh, what I'm shooting for is probably five to six million dollars. I think we have it here. Not for sure. But, yeah. Anyway, I gotta go get a screenshot for this 
episode. So, uh, y'all take care and and everything, folks. E-L-E. Everybody love everybody. Go down by scrub. Go down below in the description. Check out everybody else. Check out my links. Uh, yeah. I got, I got a cash out and PayPal. So if you're feeling generous, uh, you can support me there, or you can support me by watching just simply by watching this video. Um, big thank you to all. I really appreciate y'all's love and support. And yeah, folks, it's it's amazing. I think I'm like 609 uh, family members. And uh, the airplane spraying fertilize and, and stuff across my house. Uh, yeah, maybe I need to go to a real life uh, female. But anyway, I love each and every one of y'all folks. Thank you for all the love and support. Um, I'm going to be slow on getting to your comments. Uh, simply because you know the fire department picked up a way lot we had a family fun day which y'all probably already saw that video I think I posted it Sunday or was it Saturday I can't remember but anyway I'm gonna try to have a video Monday Tuesday and Wednesday from here on out so hopefully I can fulfill that um, anyway this uh folks y'all have a great day a blessed day i love y'all this thing is taking forever to unload and i will see you in the next video later